It was a tough day for Chaim Teitelbaum, a day that nearly ended with him losing his house. אנחנו מאוד מאוד רוצים שמדינת ישראל תאשר את המקום הזה. אנחנו לא אנשים שמתנגחים במדינת ישראל, לא אנשים שרואים עצמם מתנגדים למדינת ישראל. טיידל באום's home was one of three illegal houses in the Migron outpost that were supposed to be destroyed by Sunday according to a 45 day old decision. It was only at 7 p.m. that day that the residents of Migron received the news that the house demolitions were temporarily postponed. According to the Taya Sasson report, the Ministry of Housing and Construction invested 4.3 million shekels to help develop Migron, but the outpost lack authorization from the Defense Ministry and the government. Yes, when we came here, we asked who built this place. They said to us that the Israel has built this place. התשתיות פה מומנו על ידי מדינת ישראל, החשמל והטלפון והמים והכבישים. Lawyers representing Peace Now immediately took the outpost to court in 2006 with claims that a lot of the area belonged to Palestinians and had been used as farmlands before the building of the outpost. The case will be further discussed in the High Court of Justice on Tuesday. זה לא נכון לומר שכל האדמות כאן הן אדמות פרטיות. בעצם יש כאן שלוש סוגים של אדמות, יש פה סוג אחד של אדמות שנקרא אדמות נפקדים, זה אדמות שלא יודעים למי הן שייכות, יש איזשהו שם של ערבי פלסטינאי, אבל לא יודעים איפה הוא נמצא, אם הוא חי או לא חי, אין מידע לגבי הזהות שלו, ויש אדמות, בעצם ארבע חלקות, מתוך כל השטח העצום כאן יש ארבע חלקות של... שיש עליהן עותרים פלסטינאים, חשוב להגיד שגם העותרים האלו הגיעו לכאן אחרי שכנוע של עורכי דין של שלום עכשיו. According to Yesh Din lawyer Michael Sfard, the settlers' claims are not true, and Palestinian petitioners own the deed to each of the three lots. According to Sfard, in 2008, the government obligated itself to clear out the entire outpost of Migron and its 64 lots within three years. Yet the government has yet to even execute the demolition of the three homes built since that initial decision. Chaim Teitelbaum, who spent hundreds of thousands of shekels for a house that is now first in line for demolitions, is not discouraged. He says that if he loses his home, he will just build another. A lesson he is passing on to his kids. Benjamin Spear reporting for the Jerusalem Post.